hello guys uh, so in this video we will uh, cover s some of the questions based on minimum cost spanning tree so the first question says that consider the following graph we have to apply the prims algorithm to find out the minimum cost spanning tree okay so this graph is given uh, we have to start from the vertex a okay so just follow the steps uh, in Prim's algorithm, I have two sets that is one is a remaining uh, edges set and one is adjacent vertices set. Okay, so start with the first uh, vertex A. I have three adjacent vertices A, C, and D. In these three vertices, the minimum cost is 10. So I have considered A to B as the first A's in the minimum cost spanning tree. This A to B is considered. Now the remaining uh, edges that is A to C and A to D are added to the remaining set and the adjacent of B is added to the adjacent set. So adjacent of B is E, C and A. The adjacent vertex which is already considered in my spanning tree is not included in the adjacent set. So B to E and B to C are included in the adjacent set. In the second iteration, we have to find out the minimum edge, uh, edge with the minimum cost from the remaining set as well as from the adjacent set. So these are the four edges in these two sets and A to D have the minimum cost that is 7. So I have added this A to D in my graph or a spanning tree. Then I have include update the remaining set as because I have considered this A to D edge so the remaining set includes A to C that is first edge and the remaining uh, in the adjacent one so B to C is also there and B to E is also there so these are the my remaining set for this iteration A to C, B to C and B to E okay now the node which is adjacent is D so I have to find out the ver vertices which is adjacent to D so we have find out C and F are adjacent to uh, E uh, D vertex o A is also adjacent to D but I am not including it because A is already considered in the spanning tree so between these two vertices C and F because the cost of uh, minimum cost of an edge uh, uh, from uh, D to F is minimum so that is 22 I have considered this edge in my spanning tree and draw it in the spanning tree from D to F I draw an edge now I update the set of remaining so the remaining uh, edge in the adjacent set is D to C I added D to C in the remaining set and I have to find out the adjacent of F now. The adjacent of F include C, D and G. D is already considered so I have include only G and C. Between these two edges F to C is minimum so I consider F to C in the graph. F to C in the graph and update the remaining set as by adding the F to G. So F to G is added in the remaining set now. Again, because C is the my new adjacent node, I have to find out the neighbors of C. Now, the, the neighbors of C in the graph is B, E, F, D and A. In that, I have already considered A, B, D and F. So, the only node which is remaining is E. So, I have added C to E in the adjacent graph so c2 is only edge which is included now at each this iteration so now i have to compare between the remaining set and the adjacent set so the remaining set have the edges as the weight 42 30 49 26 5 and 10 the minimum one is 5 so i have considered f to g as a new edge in the spanning tree because it has a minimum weight 5 so after this we have to update the adjacent vertices so G is new or this uh, vertex so the adjacent of G is E and F both are included in the min uh, so sorry 
so f is included e is not included so i just write or add an edge with g2e with the cos 2 now this is my new edge in the adjacent set and the remaining c2e is added to the remaining set because it is not considered in the previous iteration so the remaining set includes these edges and the adjacent set include g2e the minimum cost between all these edges is g2e so i have considered g2e in the spanning tree so now this is my complete spanning tree because further if i add any of the edges from the uh, remaining set these edges will form a cycle also i have considered all the seven vertices and the six edges so uh, i have already covered n minus one edges in the spanning tree so this completes my algorithm and you can also compute the minimum cost for this spanning tree by adding the edge weights of the each considered edge so, so uh, this is the uh, uh, spanning tree for this graph let's solve another problem consider this following graph a b c d e with five vertices in this graph we have considered two vertices with the same edge weights so the question which is asked is how many minimum cost spanning trees are possible so always remember whenever your graph have two uh, similar weights then it may possible that this will lead to two spanning trees so like in this one i have draw two spanning trees by so you can uh, apply any algorithm either prims algorithm or kruskal's algorithm to make an spanning tree so if i consider the kruskal's algorithm then a to b will uh, so first you pick the edge with the minimum weight then the second minimum then the third minimum so you create a min heap and ex extract operation is applied on that min heap so a to b is picked up then the second minimum is 3 so either i can pick a to e or b to c so first i pick a to e then i pick b to c the, both are considered because they are not from any cycle then uh, uh, the f uh, third minimum is 4 so I either I can pick B to D or C to D so in one graph I have considered B to D in another graph I have considered C to D so this will lead to two minimum cost spanning trees so the answer here is two minimum cost spanning trees are possible for this graph and what is the minimum cost for this graph the minimum cost is 12 for this graph also the minimum cost is 12 so you can uh, make a point that whenever the uh, you have any graph and you apply prims and kruskal's algorithm on that graph and that graph contain the similar weights so it may possible that uh, more than one spanning tree uh, can be uh, uh, can be the output and but the the cost of those all uh, minimum cost spanning tree ha must be same so here if i have created two minimum spanning tree the cost of that must be similar okay so uh, let's go to the next question so consider the following graph what is the minimum cost for spanning tree for this graph so uh, this graph apply the uh, so you can apply prims of Kruskal. Uh, this is one of the solution by applying the Kruskal algorithm. So you take the first uh, minimum edge one to three uh, because it have the minimum edge weight two. Then consider the next minimum four to six. So this is considered. Then consider the next minimum that is two to five, that with the edge weight four. So I have considered the edge with the weight two. I have considered the edge with the weight 3 I have considered the 8 with the weight 4 then I have considered the 8 with the 5 means 3 to 6 is added then uh, 6 so for 6 we I have three choices either I add 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 6 if I add uh, 1 to 4 sorry 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 so if I add 4 to 1 it will uh, create an cycle in my graph if I add 3 to 2 it will also create an cycle sorry if i add uh, 4 to 3 4 to 3 will create a cycle so i pick the 2 to 3 and consider it my in it my graph so this is added then the next stage what is 7 so you can see that if i uh, 7 has three choices so if i consider 1 to 2 it will form a cycle 3 to 5 also form a cycle and 5 to 6 also form a cycle so i cannot consider any of this Edge, uh, edge with the weight 7 
so the minimum cost is spending tree or uh, is to uh, the sum is, um, is 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 given in this graph and the minimum cost for this tree is 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 that is 20 so option b is right next question is suppose we have two graphs t and t dash uh, sorry t and t dash are the two minimum is, uh, sorry spanning trees are there of a connected graph there is an edge e in t but it, this edge is not in t dash similarly there is an edge e dash which is in t dash but not in t then after performing this following operation which one is true so if i remove the edge e from the t and i add the edge from another spanning tree then what is uh, what is the possibility and if i remove the e dash from t dash and add the e in that resulting tree then what is the possibility so these are some of the options given that the resulting uh, trees uh, t and t dash are not spanning trees t is a spanning tree but t dash not is spanning tree t is not a spanning tree but t dash is spanning tree and both are spanning trees so for uh, explaining this question i considered a graph a demo graph which contains four vertices and it is connected graph then I create two spanning possible spanning trees for this graph. Suppose uh, this is one of the configuration in which A, C, B, D is uh, one graph and A, B, C, D is another graph. Please consider only yellow line uh, now. So this red E denotes that I considered A to C as H E in T and E dash as H in T dash which is given in my question. So I considered A to C as E and b to c as e dash in t dash and t okay so if i remove this edge e and add this edge here then the resulting tree would be like this and i can see it it is a spanning tree similarly if i remove this edge in this graph and i add this one a to c then the resulting tree is like this a to b b to c c to d and this is also a spanning tree so option d is right both are a spanning tree so uh, i hope you have uh, cleared uh, understand all the questions if you have any doubt in any of these questions you can post as in comment section and if you have uh, any question regarding uh, this uh, 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 topic that is minimum cost spanning tree or frames algorithm or crystal algorithm you can also post your questions in the comment section thank you very much for watching this video